I could not be with you in Japan personally. I'm happy to send this message to all of you. I'm very proud of INEP Japan, which has been working tirelessly, not only for social welfare, but also for social change. You must realize that many people misunderstand Japanese Buddhism. They used to accuse Japanese Buddhism as preparing people for the next world. They even said that the Japanese priests make a lot of money on funeral services. But I think this accusation is no longer valid, or at least not entirely valid, because of some leading Japanese priests realized that Buddhism in Japan must link with Buddhism elsewhere. And those together must care for the present world as much as for the next world. Indeed, without some leading Japanese priests, INEP could not come into being because INEP want to conscientize Buddhists that they should not only care for themselves, but they should care for others. Particularly, the rich should care more for the poor. The rich and the poor must work together. Men and women also should work together. Although the Buddha regard women as important men, but unfortunately, in our Buddhist history, we don't treat women kindly. I'm happy now that INEP plays a leading role in having women become more and more significant in inducing Buddhism for the good of the majority. For instance, in Taiwan, we have leading women monks care not only for social welfare, but for social transformation. Let me recall at the beginning of INEP, without Japanese priests, INEP could not come into being. I think particularly of the Reverend Maruya Matero. He was a radical priest and he cared for this world and he also cared for social transformation. It was through him that I met quite a number of other Japanese priests who care for this world as much as for the next world. Together, we met and we formed INEP. It's a very small organization. We have people from all denominations. Theravada, Mahayana, Vajrayana. And I'm happy to say that His Holiness the Dalai Lama agrees to become our patron. And he has also been encouraging us and working with us in fact, I told His Holiness that Buddhists must not only care for individuals, we Buddhists must understand social structure, which have the rich, which have the powerful, but not care for the poor. Unlike Marxists, we don't use violence to work against the rich, but we want to have dialogue with the rich. The rich and the poor should come together in a Buddhist way that is non-violent way, using truth, loving kindness to change. And I'm happy that INEP, not only working among Buddhists, 
we also work with Christians, we work with Muslims, particularly on issues like climate change. So we should not care only for, for ourselves, human beings, but we must care for other sentient beings. Because the Buddha said, Dukkha is the center point. But Dukkha is not only personal. Dukkha is also social, environmental. If we understand Dukkha, find out the cause of Dukkha, and then we can eliminate Dukkha through the Noble Eightfold Path. And to eliminate Dukkha, we must understand social transformation. We must understand social structure. I'm happy that INF Japan has now become very active, working not only with Buddhists in the Far East, Japan, INEP work with all of us in Southeast Asia, in Europe, and North America. I wish your meeting this time will bring something beneficial to all sentient beings. And I wish success to all of you. Om Amitabha.